Late Night Health continues. Uh, we have, uh, how would you guys do A humanitarian. Wouldn't Absolutely. You? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Absolutely. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, and he is actually performing surgery while, <laughs> while we're talking. Uh, this is not the first time that's happened to us. Uh, Dr. Ben Talley is our guest, and we're talking about the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence. Uh, Dr. Ben does, I guess you do all kinds of facial work and reconstructive throughout the body? Uh, I'm just a facial specialist. A facial Uh, specialist, okay. Yeah, and birthmarks on the body. And birthmarks, a birthmark Mm -hmm. specialist. Does that bother, do birthmarks bother people? I, uh, yeah, the the ones that I deal with, there's probably uh, maybe a handful of us in the country that actually specialize in the real deal birthmarks, which are the really large uh, hemangiomas, port wine stains, venous lymphatic malformations, ones that can kind of overtake your face. Um, so we deal with those, and hopefully we get to the patient early on. But uh, classic teachings in medical school tell you that this stuff can't be treated, so. Often we end up getting uh, patients in their 30s and 40s who had no idea that they could be treated. Mm -hmm. And they can be. Uh, I'm going to ask you a question. How long ago were you in school and has the education in schools changed since you've been out? Um, I was school back in uh, 2004, around then. Um, So you're a new doc. I mean, you've had experience. There's no question. But yeah. Yeah, you know, not too much has changed. I was actually part of the newer generation of doctors where um, that's when they, you know, I, I went to UC San Diego for medical school and I was at Columbia Cornell for residency. Um, they, right around that time is when they started teaching doctors the new methods of how to treat patients. So you'd learn how to talk to them better. You wouldn't use inappropriate words. you <laughs> kind of get rid of the old school arrogance that was part of medicine. Well, I teach I, I teach docs I teach patients and doctors that if I come to see Doctor Ben Talley and you come in and say hi Mark how are you let's talk about your situation I say hi Ben do you like yeah. that I do actually nobody uh, well my my last name is difficult to pronounce even though it's five letters so everyone calls me either Doctor Ben or Ben anyways <laughs> gotcha and am I pronouncing your name right Ta- yeah absolutely Talley you're one of the first one, oh good where are you from where's the family from. Uh, my parents are from Iran and Israel, uh, but they moved probably in 1970 to Indiana, and then they got the, <laughs> they got out of there pretty quickly. Oh, good! But I can understand that. Out. I'll tell you off air why. Um, the, the 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 advent of I'm going to call it holistic health. Sure. How does plastic surgery work into that? Uh, well, there's there's different parts of holistic health. So holistic health, and I, I deal with a lot of it. There are holistic medications. There's uh, naturopathy, which is in the field, and then you have different types of therapeutics. Um, when I'm treating somebody, uh, the reason I have such a high success rate is because I'm able to read people. And when people come in, they're not always looking for what they're asking for. <laughs> so, Somebody comes in saying, you know, this bothers me, that bothers me. It's up to me to decide if what they're saying is accurate. Is it the fact that they look tired? You know, is it just because their brows are low? Is it because their personality is a little depressed? Is, you know, I have to look at them as a person as a whole or else... You're looking at them as a psychologist, psychiatrist. You have to. You have to. And if you hang out in my office for one day, you'll see it is almost... And my mom's a psychologist. It is almost like being in a psychologist's office, the things we talk about. And that even goes into the domestic violence stuff. That's why we end up talking about so much. It's not just, you know, it is slightly a gossipy office, you know, like all plastic surgery, but you do end up talking to patients about their personal lives more than most internists do other types of doctors for whatever reason. And partly it's because your patient base is largely female. And... They confide in you to, you know, they trust you to deal with their face. They end up trusting you with a lot of other things. And the more you have to talk about it, the more they open up. Do you yeah. find yourself ask, uh, talking women out of, or men, out of certain types of surgery that you think may not be the best thing for them? Yeah, all the time. And it's mainly in Beverly Hills because they've seen, you know, 10 other doctors who everybody has a varying opinion. Um, mine is very different than most. 
So if they've gone to five and all five have said one thing and I disagree with it, which is often, I... You tell them to go down the street. Yeah, and I slowly dis- or I try to slowly dissuade them. Got it. We are um, out of we're out of time. I want to I want people to go to our website so they can or the National Coalition Against Domestic Violence site. Look that up, and there'll be some more information. Doctor, I'd love to have you come back. We'll talk about your your practice next time. How's that? Oh, that'd be wonderful, yeah. Okay. All right, I'll give you a call. Hold on a second, all right? Uh, this okay. is Late Night Health. I'm Mark Allen. Coming up, Hour 2. If you don't get it, go to LateNightHealth.com. If you're listening to Late Night Health right now, you're part of the growing target of baby boomers we're serving. Hi, I'm Daryl Wayne, producer of Late Night Health, inviting you to join the Late Night Health family. If you have any business targeting the growing boomer market, Late Night Health is the ideal advertising vehicle for you. From vitamins to insurance, alternative health to Western-style medicine, Late Night Health caters to the growing population of those over 40 years old. This vibrant demographic has expendable income to fight aging, purchase travel, take care of aging parents, or just have fun. Find out about the advertising opportunities with Late Night Health. Call us at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308 or email us at info at latenighthealth.com. That's info at latenighthealth.com. Join Late Night Health as we empower people to take charge of their own health care. Call now at 805-391-0308. That's 805-391-0308.